Hello guys, and welcome to The Wolf Among Us. Been meaning to play this game for a while, had no internet, recorded 27 hours of Minecraft, all of it fell through, so why not? Once upon a time in New York City there lived a community of fairy tale characters known as Fable Town. The fables who lived there arrived hundreds of years ago after they were exiled from their homelands. With the use of magic spells called Glamour, they have protected their secret community from the mundane world. Sheriff Bigby Wolf protects them from each other. Am I going to be Big D Wolf? Today again, if you missed it, a uh, record for the date. Hottest ever in June, uh, 103 now, and that humidity looks low, but remember, the hotter the air is, the more moisture it can hold. So 103 with 31% humidity is a lot more humid than, say, 73 with 31% humidity. And it is muggy out there. Why is it all Telltale games seem to start in a fucking car? I say that, I'm pretty sure it's just this game and... The first Walking Dead. <laughs> the Wolf Among Us. Ba 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 ba. Man, looking at this in comparison to the new Walking Dead, like, you can see how far Telltale came. A tenement building in the South Bronx sometime after midnight. Oh, it's a frog boy! Mr. Toad. Oh, shit. Big B! Listen, mate, I, I know I don't look human. It's a problem, I get it. I just stepped out the apartment for just a second to see what kind of damage this drunk shit is doing. Just cut me a break, yeah? I'll get me glamour first thing in the morning. Cross my arm. I'm looking at a three-foot toad in a sweater. That's a problem. If you can't afford to look human, you're going to the farm. It's as simple as that. Oh God! You can't send me up to live with those animals. You know what I mean. Go <laughs> get a glamour, Big B. They're bleeding me dry, mate. The quality of the spout goes down, but the rates keep climbing up. Do you have any idea how much it costs to have an entire family in glamour? I don't make the rules. Sorry. I can't give you a free pass on this, Toad. My hands are tied. Right, right. There's too much at stake. Whatever it costs, it's worth it. You don't want me catching you out of glamour again. Because I will fucking eat you. Fuck you now! See? This is what I told you about, Sheriff. You're just gonna stand there, do something, Big B, before he completely tears up the place! I should probably go handle this. Yes, please. Thank you. <laughs> Furry prick gob shite. Tell me how to spend my money. Dad, the lights are shaking again. What did I say? You want a big bad wolf to take you away? No. Then get that fuck back inside. <laughs> <laughs> Please, dear God, put the phone back on. Take a look. Take a good look. You know who I am now? Hey, look at me. Oh. Big B getting mad. Oh, the music's from God in here. Damn you. you know who I whoa, am whoa, now, whoa, whoa, hey, hey! You've got something on your face. Fuck are you talking about, you stupid? 
I'll fucking kill you! <laughs> you fucker! All right, everyone. <gasps> oh. What are you gonna fucking do, huh? Get the fuck out of the way before you get the axe again. Woody, this is your last warning. Oh, Woody! If you keep on like this, I won't have any choice but to put you down. Put me down? You got a shit fucking memory, Wolf. That's not how it went last time. This isn't last time. Oh, fuck. On the sofa. Had enough? Oh, fuck. At least it's a fucking challenge. Oh. <laughs> oh, fuck him up. Oh, fuck! Into that! Come on! Back off, asshole. Whoop! Are you gonna calm down yet, cunt? Oh, that's a Celtic axe. Whoop! Missed me. What? Oh, what? <laughs> what the fuck happened there? What? <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, there we go, now it's showing it. You should probably get out of here. Look, I'm not leaving until I get what's mine. You're not getting shit, bitch. I'll fucking put you on the ground. Hey. Can't be nice, I'm gonna make you wait outside. Oh, fucking shit. You bogged my jaw, you bastard. And still you talk. Fuck you. <laughs> shit. What the hell is going on? What happened? A little misunderstanding that turned into a real shit show. Don't worry, you saw the best bits. There's more where that came from, girly. Knock it off. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Look, this is just the start of a shitty night for me. I just need the money he owes me, then I can go. What are you doing here? These lips are sealed. Oh. Why was he hitting you? Maybe you should ask him that. I will, but I asked you first. Oh. He asked me if I recognized him, knew who he was. I said I didn't. He started beating on me. Then you showed up, started beating on him. That about cover it, hon? Oh, you whore. I saved the little red riding hood from this monster. I cut this fucker open and filled his belly full of stones and threw him in the fucking river. That's who the fuck I am, you stupid bitch. Hey, what did I say about that word? Kill uh, Oh fuck. Oh fuck. That taxi. Is the taxi driver still in it? Really hope he wasn't, because he is dead now. Oh, is that Toad's car? Hey, Toad. My car. Yeah. <clears throat> Give me a second. Oh no, by all means. Take your time. Make yourself comfortable. 
So, uh, how good is your insurance? I can't be mad at you. I called you, and you come to help. I can't be mad. And even when you help, things end up more fucked than they started. Well, at least you're not fucking dead. Oh? Oh? What? What are you doing? I'm just getting what he owes me. You all right back there? I mean, your eyes and the teeth? You're not really supposed to do that, are you? Not if I can avoid it. Great. The guy's got an axe in his brain. He's not feeling that. <laughs> I'll kill you, you fucking bitch. Let me help you. Ah! Uh. He's had enough. He's a fable. Son of a bitch can take plenty. <laughs> oh, God. Shit. Just come on. Bigsby, offer you a lighter. I'm curious as well. These lips are sealed. Sorry. Uh, mm -mm. That ain't gonna fly. Hey, you like my ribbon? Stop changing the subject. If you don't answer my questions, I can't help you. I'm answering them the best that I can. Oh. I feel like we've met before. We probably have. We all sort of knew each other at one point or another. But things change, I guess. I guess. What does that mean? What? <laughs> totally. <laughs> Stop. We don't have to make any more of a thing out of it than it already is. It's not just about you. I can't have him running around the city in the state he's in. Good, because I was just starting to worry it was all about me. That's not what I mean. How much was the OJ? A hundred. I'm guessing bad for you to show up empty-handed I'll be fine let's see I've got uh, it's 20 40, 7, 8, 58 it's all I got uh, it'll help right take it it's okay I'll be fine you've done enough really just take the money you gotta be nice. You got me out of a bad situation back there. Thanks. Yeah, you all beaten and bruised to fuck. 
I have to go drop off what I have. Meet me back at my office then. Oh. It's a little late for an office visit, Sheriff. I'll swing by your apartment. How do you know where I You live in the smallest apartment in the woodlands. Everyone knows that. Good to know. Let's get cleaned up. You look like shit. And wow, thanks. That term lightly. Some of these look pretty bad. Wow. Tell me what you really think. <laughs> I need to tell you something. What is it? You're not as bad as everyone says you are. <gasps> That's what your fifty-eight dollars got you. I'll see you around. Wolf. Smooch on the cheek. For a hundred she'll give you a cuddle and tell you. And <laughs> help you feel better about depression and shit. <laughs> Fucking totally. Oh. Oh. Oh, the intro. Okay, okay, I can get behind this. I want to know how the big bad wolf ended up becoming the sheriff. Bullfinch Street. The Woodland Luxury Apartments. Ah. Fables created by Bill Willingham. Stay off the grass. Who the fuck is that? There's no walking on the grass, no white's orders. I'll be sure to send her an apology. Beauty. What? Hello, Big B. I wasn't expecting anyone. I know this looks a little odd. Why'd you hide when I walked up? Well, I didn't know who it was. You can't be too careful these days. No, can't. Damn, um. I'm late. If you had somewhere to be, why the fuck were you hiding in a bush? Please, Big B. Promise me you won't tell Beast you saw me. He worries too much as it is, and it would just make my life a lot easier. Look, whatever it is, it's between you and Beast. I'm staying out of it. I don't have time to go into it right now. Yeah, I know. I just said I don't really care. I will, but I have to go. I said I don't really care. You don't need to tell me. Fuck off. It's not what you might be thinking. Like I said, I don't really care, and she's like, I'm gonna tell you anyway. Cool. 
Grimble. <laughs> oh, matey is dead in the water. Hey, you wink. Probably for the best. Damn it, Officer Grimble. Been a while since I got any mail. Seventh day in a row. Oh. Blackbeard. Oh, loads of them just say private. LOL. What? Oh, my name tag fell off. Damn thing fell off again. How much longer is this gonna go on? I like how he has to stick his own name tag back on, whereas everyone else has got printed. So... <coughs> oh wow, even his hands and all that are cut up. Oh, it's Beast. Big B. Hey, wait up. What's up, bro? Have you seen Beauty? I'm staying out of it. Out of what? Whatever it is, Beast. I'm not a marriage counselor. Damn it. Something's going on. <laughs> well, yeah, I told Beauty I don't care. I'm gonna tell Beast I don't care. <laughs> Wow, you can uh, can really see how much effort they put into. Oh boy! <sighs> what a night! Damn it! Why oh, look at? <laughs> Cube train say, damn it. What what would you possibly huff and puff? Oh. Oh. Bluebeard folder. The fuck do I do? Uh, don't even remember ordering that. Probably a bad sign. Yeah, just a tad. What the fuck else can I interact with? Wait, what? Colin? Big B. I'm in your chair, huh? I've only got the one. So, yeah. Smoke. 
Thanks. A couple thousand more of these, we'll be even on that house you owe me. This has got to stop. You can't keep sneaking off the farm like this. The fresh air and sunshine pitch they sell you on is bullshit. I didn't escape out of the homelands to end up in some prison, okay? Don't send me back there, Bigby. You don't know what it's like, okay? You haven't been there. Come on. That's a little dramatic. That for me? Nope. The house didn't blow itself down, Bigby. That's all I'm saying. Do with that what you will. Now, I'm not saying it's reason enough for me to have definitely been offered a drink, but, uh... It would have helped ease some of the pain you once caused me, yes. It also would have shown everyone how different you are now. Nice. I take it all back. This is why everyone hates you. It wasn't murder. I was hungry. Yeah, well, I'm hungry now. You don't see me tearing the flesh off of your bones. But you would, if you could. <laughs> Probably. But, uh, no. Um, hate's the wrong word. They fear you more than anything. You ate a lot of people back in your day. I thought we were all supposed to have a fresh start here. I can't change the past. Well, you can't change people's memories, either. Look, I'm not saying it's fair, but it's real. People are scared of you. I mean, look at your hands. Who'd you get in a fight with? A fable, right? I'm sure you're not going around punching Mondays. Wasn't my fault. I get the impression you say that a lot. <laughs> You think my job is easy? You try keeping a bunch of fables from killing each other. How do you think this all works? I don't know. How? By being big and being bad. By being big and being bad. Don't say that shit in front of people. It's embarrassing. That's the attitude that gets you in trouble. I'm sure you were shitty to everyone you came across tonight. Mm, not everyone. Name one. Uh, I don't actually know her name. Awesome. Great example. <laughs> friends, Bigby. And we live a long fucking time. I know you like this whole lone wolf thing you got going for yourself. But I've seen the way you look at snow, okay? You're not fooling me. Will you shut up? Well, maybe if my throat wasn't so parched, I wouldn't have to keep talking. Boy, that doesn't make sense. Just give sense. me a drink, please. Colin, enough already. I haven't slept in two days. I went out a second story window, and I want to get in two seconds of shut eye before I. Look, if I give you this, will you let me sleep? Yeah, yeah, all right. Probably. Thanks, Big B. Now is sleep time for Big Bad Wolf. Pig friend has drank all of my juice. I'm coming! Keep your fucking pants on! Big B! Snow? Come with me. Still night time, he's been asleep like fucking Snow. three minutes. Snow! What? Sorry, I'm... What is it? What happened? I just can't get into it this second. We need to hurry to... Hi. Hello. Good morning. Or evening. 
Yeah. Okay. These walls are paper thin. We need to be careful. We'll talk outside. Okay. Has Beast died? I really hope, like, Beast or Beauty has died. Oh. That's Gimbal. What's going to be under there? Wait, what? You knew this girl? Is... She's not a Mundy, right? Who was she? I thought... I knew everyone in Fabletown. She looks familiar. A working girl? A working girl? I don't... I mean, I'm a working... Oh. The woodsman. He attacked her and I stepped in. And he threatened to kill us both. No. You don't think he... I don't think anything yet. Just... Give me a second. Just take out whatever's in her mouth. Terrible. So, who found her? I did. She was just like this. I didn't touch her. I grabbed Grimble's jacket to cover her with. Then, I came to get you right away. No one else was with you? No. Big P, did one of us do this? There hasn't been a murder in Fable Town in a long time. All the more reason we shouldn't start a panic before we know what's going on. Exacto mundo. Have a look around. We don't have much time before people will be coming through here. Oh, it's a ribbon. It's a ribbon. The ring on it. Some kind of symbol here. Huh. I I don't recognize it. Neither do I. It's a face. Strange cut. What did this to her? What could do something like that? Either something very sharp, or something with magic attached to it. And then rotate her head. She was placed here with some care. What do you mean? You can see that someone didn't just toss her here. She was deliberately placed for us to find. What kind of monster would do this? Hmm. I don't think it was the woodsman, that would be all too... I'm sorry. This is just so surreal. <sighs> um, what... what do you want to do next? We still have some time. I should keep investigating here. Obviously, we need to get as much info as we can. Touch it just for the sake of touching blood. blood. Drops of blood. I'd say it's been here an hour, maybe. What? Fabric. Looks like jeans. Doesn't tell me much. 
keep a hold of it anyway. Just some loose trash. Yep, more blood. Someone might have hopped the fence, got caught, then left the trail I found earlier. Blood. Still wet. Sharp enough. Surprised the garbage men can even find their way here. Hmm. Curiouser and curiouser. I want to check this way one moment. Oh, there you go. I found out the walk fast key. Oh, I can't. What are you doing? Better to be thorough. Sure, just hurry up. We don't have much time. We should move her before anyone shows up. We'll Good find child. her more at the business office. She'll be in the books. I'm sure of it. Big P, do you have any idea what's going on? This is a message. A message? I don't know, Bigby. I get complaints at the office all the time, but just what about this makes you think that? Whoever did this isn't exactly hiding it. The placement of the head, it's exact, purposeful. She was placed here precisely for us to find. All of us. Well, yes. I guess you're right. The killer wanted us to know what they had done. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna have to talk Crane about this. As long as King Cole is gone, he's acting mayor. He needs to know. And he's going to find out anyway, so we may as well get out in front of it. I guess it's useless to drag it out. That's how I feel too. I'm sure he won't be happy, but it's just part of the process. Hopefully he can be rational about it. Why does Bigsby sound like fucking Eeyore? I just don't want him interfering. Crane's not what's important right now. We need to figure out who this girl was so we can find whoever did this. Take this back to Dr. Swinehart. He can take a look at it. I'll meet you at the business office. And whom's this doctor's what? What are you blind? What you don't see there's a line? I've been standing here a half hour already. You get to just walk in? Must be nice being the sheriff. Do whatever the fuck you like. I work here. And what great work you do, Sheriff. Hmm. That didn't feel very genuine. This to me, Miss Snow, the one who so simply stumbled upon this catastrophe on our very doorstep. The last thing I need with Mayor Cole away is a hysteria. Do you understand me? Yes, of course I Don't do. Don't interrupt me, Miss Snow. You asked me a question. Don't change the subject. You are to bring uh -oh. this unpleasant as Miss Snow. I brought you this news as soon as I could. You are trusted to keep things running smoothly around here. This is a disaster. It isn't anyone's fault. Instead of trying to assign blame, maybe we should figure out how to catch the fucker who did this. Oh, is that how you see things? Sheriff, you are the one charged with protecting the citizens of Fable Town. Your failure to do so cost someone their life and the safety of the entire community. Tell me you've been doing something. Are there any leads? Suspects? Anything. Anything at all. Any shred of evidence you two know what the hell you're doing. The woodsman is a person of interest. From what we've been able to gather, he was last seen with the victim. The woodsman? That drunk wretch was the cause of this? It's a lead. Nothing's certain yet. 
I'll mm -hmm. find him. Get him in here if that's all you have to go on. You two need to get a handle on this situation quickly and quietly. The last thing we need is all of Fable Town knowing there's a killer amongst us. I mean, oh. yeah, that wouldn't yes. be great. Sir? Call Vivian right this minute and let her know I'm coming in early for my massage. I will. Where is the bottle of wine you were to purchase? Don't bother. Forget it. Can't do anything right. Fuck that guy. Do your job, Sheriff. Or we'll find someone who can. You know what? Stop. We'll get on it right away, sir. You would have just pissed him off more. All right. Well, that could have gone better. Well, maybe we should have dragged it out. What it's worth, but still better than tell me. I mean, yeah. Maybe. Oh, Crane doesn't like people smoking and... Never mind. Smoke away. What an asshole. Yep. That was about an eight on the asshole scale. Asshole scale? Well, that doesn't sound right. Is... is he gone? What? Yes, thankfully. <laughs> He's one of the Wicked Witch of the West's monkeys. Buffkin! Hello, Miss Snow. Drinking? This early? Where did you get that? It was by Mr. Rickabod's desk. Then don't you think it probably belongs to him? Maybe. How are you today, Mr. Bigby? Fuck off, Buffkin. <laughs> Get the books. <laughs> the ones with all the fables in it. Not sure that was any more specific. Bring the first three. Be back in a few minutes. He knows the ones I'm talking about. There's bound to be information on her here. Somewhere. We'll at least be able to get her real name from the books whenever Buff can find them. In the meantime, poke around. Maybe the mirror can help. Hello, Hello Mr. Bigsby. Fuck off, Buffkin. Sir, but let me know if you need anything. Hello, Vivian. Hi, this is Snow White, Mr. Crane's assistant. Worth a try. Hey, Magic Mirror, I got a question. You know the rule. I don't have time for this shit. Your impatience is callow. You're needlessly cruel, but have some respect for our history and rules. <sighs> mirror, mirror. Uh, if you're able, tell me all about this fable. See, was that so hard? <laughs> Two seconds away from kicking a hole in you. There's no need for that. Fine. Of which fable do you wish to know? Buffkin. <laughs> I don't know her name. Not yet, anyway. Well, until you do, I can't help you. Show me Buffkin. Hey, put down the bottle and get to work. <laughs> Still looking. Show me the woodsman. Where is he? What you see is complete. The woodsman stumbles down a street. No shit. Which street? I'm sorry, Bigby. I can only show you what can't be seen. Show me Snow White. Not much of a request. She's in this very room. Oh. Um. Nobody right now. Very well. Please return should you wish to ask about someone else. Or someone new.
Well, I'm sure we'll get it all cleared up. Okay. Thank you. Come on then, Buffkin. Uh, da, 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 da. Where is Buffkin? I want to read the books. Strength. I guess it comes in all forms. Why keep it? You may as well take the rest of them. It's a full tarot card reading. Well, it's a three pack tarot card reading. We'll start with these. Any information on fables in our community will be somewhere in these books. Well, that's Beauty, that's Beast, that's Red Riding Hood. The uh, Snow White, the Dwarves, holy fuck. Dwarves. The less said about that, the better. Yeah, that's me. Back when. A uh, long time ago. <laughs> Haven't seen him in a while. Well, that's how you looked when we met, remember? Yeah. I remember. And him. The Woodsman? Yep. And his axe. It's a nice axe, to be fair. Two of them. <laughs> I wonder what the story was. Beauty and happier days. And her man, Beast. Funny. Colin and his brothers. <laughs> I've seen this before. Oh, yeah! On the man's clothes. It's the same as the rings. Could be her father, or husband. This has most of the emblems of the old days, and usually what family they come from. If it's in here, we'll have her name. Well, at least her last name. I wasn't done. A toad. Nice hat. I haven't seen Badger around for a while. He likes his privacy, I think. I wish Toad would like his a bit more. <laughs> Ichabod Crane. Scared shitless. What's that? Your boss. His finest moment. Hard to understand how he ended up running this place. <laughs> yeah, that is a bit fucking odd. Well, maybe it's time that changed. Oh! Not what I wanted to do. Not that. No. The donkey. Ooh. No. Aha. Uh -huh. Great. What? can help. Maybe it will brighten your shitty mood a little. Unlikely. <laughs> this is the one. Where is this symbol from? Which family or story? That's an odd one. Family name? Alairlairo? I'll go look it up. Alairlairo. That means every kind of fur in German. Donkey skin. Yes. What does it say? Donkey skin girl, also known as donkey skin, also known as <laughs> ass skin, <laughs> prefers to go by the name Faith. Poetic? Buffkin, we don't need the comments. <laughs> the story of donkey skin. 
There was once a great king with a beautiful queen. The queen grew ill and had her husband promise to only marry the most beautiful girl in the kingdom. After a long search, it became clear that the only woman in the land that could match her beauty was... Oh, his daughter, Faith. Oh. She had a magic cloak made from the skin of her father's prized donkey that would hide her beauty so she could escape his kingdom. Eventually, she married a prince who could see past the magic cloak and knew her true beauty. And they lived happily ever after. That's fucking weird. Should I mark it, Miss Snow? Yes. Please. And what's her husband's name? Lawrence. Prince Lawrence. We got what we came for. Yeah. Her name's Faith. She was married to Prince Lawrence. I mean, that's more than her we... Her name was Faith. Yeah. We should talk to the husband. You think he did it? No, I don't. But we need to know about his wife. Yeah. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Oh yeah, I could ask him what the tarot card means. You know what this means? Tarot is a backwards art. I wouldn't put too much stock in its wisdom, Bigby. Not when you've been so helpful. Prevision's muddy. I'm as clear as a window. I mean, yeah, true. Mirror, mirror, blah, blah, Abel, blah, blah, blah about this fable. Of which fable do you wish to know? He's a prince, I think. Show me Prince Lawrence. Oh, cool, he's been killed. What's he been doing? Where is this? Where's what? Do you know where Prince Lawrence lives? If he's a prince... Probably relocated in the South Bronx. Yellow building, red window shutters. Red frames. Yep, that's the one. I can take us there. Show me... Show me faith. Through powerful magic, her whereabouts concealed. Unfortunately for you, these lips are sealed. Oh! These lips are sealed. It's not my choice of phrasing, Bigby. It's simply the way this has to be. Show me Faith's father, the old king. I guess that crosses him off the suspect list. Nobody right now. Anything we can use? Yeah, that'll have to do for now. Come on, we're going over there. Right. Oh. I have to get that. Okay. Hello, Woodland's business office. Yes. I He is. Hold on. Bigby. It's for you. Bigby. It's me, Toad. You there? Toad. Got your glamour yet? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's fine. Bigby, shit. Listen, right? There's a bloke upstairs going through all the woodsman's things. Get over here, Bigby, before he. Oh, well, hang on. Boy, shit. Hey! What was that about? Hard to say. Something going on over at Toad's place. What about Faith's husband? I don't know. I couldn't really tell. But he could be in trouble. And we should go there anyway to search her apartment. Toad might have to wait. No, oh, I want to. I want to see Toad first. I want to sort Toad. Faith's husband's fucking dead. Did Toad say who was there? Was it the woodsman? I don't know. It's possible. Whoever it was, it didn't seem like Toad was happy to see him. Well, 
Maybe Prince Lawrence can wait. Yeah, you didn't see him. He could use some help, too. Well, where to first? Big B, shit. Listen, right? There's a bloke upstairs going through all the woodsman things. You think he did it? What's her husband's name? Love. My phone! Oh. Oh.